Hi, I'm Danielle McDaniel, the Clay Lady, and welcome to the Clay Lady Studio in Nashville, Tennessee. Today I want to visit with you so you can understand the different firing temperatures of clay. Clay is actually decayed rock and it starts off at the top of the mountain and the weather and the wind will break down rock and that will fall into the ground and that's the purest of all clays. But over time that clay will work its way down to the mountain and it will gather up different minerals and stones and will become more of a stoneware clay. And then over time that, will, that clay will fall into the earth leaving the stoneware, leaving all the, the impurities behind and will become earthenware. The reason why I tell you about this mountain is because it's a perfect, simple analogy to understand the different firing temperatures of clay. Porcelains and the purest of clays, cone 10, high fire, high in the mountain. Most studios are cone 6. Our Clay Lady studio is cone 6. That's mid-fire, the mid of the mountain. That's stonewares, that's the crocks or dishes or pottery. And then you have earthenware, which is a low-fire clay, the lowest fire of clay because it's in the low part of the mountain. That's Clay Lady clay or terracotta. Now the way you understand these temperatures, low, mid, and high fire, is by a rating system called a cone. Back in the day when people had wood-fired kilns, they would dig their clay up, they would grab a little bit of that clay, they'd make a little cone and they would set it in their kiln. Then they would be able during the firing to open up a brick, look into that cone to see if it was melting. As soon as that cone started melting, they would know that they had hit the top temperature of that clay and they would quit fueling the kiln so they would know that that cone had melted and it was time to stop the firing. Now Orton came along and manufactured cones 1 through 22. Each number was a cone that melted at a different temperature. Cone 10 became the measurement for the high fire, the porcelains, gas and wood fired kilns. And then mid fire was cone 6. But after the clay community started using more low fire clays with low fire glazes, they needed a cone measurement. And since they'd used all the numbers, they decided to do what I consider like negative numbers. 01, 02, 03, 04, 05, 06. So 04 is actually hotter than 06. It's like a negative number that has more value. It's hotter. It's important for you to understand these different temperatures. We spend 80% of our time on the phone explaining to our customers at Mid-South Ceramics the difference between cone 6 and 06. Cone 6 being mid-fire clay, 06 being low-fire clay. It's important that you buy clay and glazes that fit and match and are the same temperature. If I take a low fire clay and accidentally get it in a high fire kiln, it will melt like ice cream all over the kiln shelf. So it's important to understand that what one, if what your studio is firing to, and two, that the products that you use are all rated the same temperature. Now just a little bit of a hint, the electric kilns are usually cone six mid fire but cone six is usually considered a high fire in electric kiln. So there's a little bit of confusion with that as well. So just keep in mind cone 10 for gas, wood, high fire, mid fires, cone six, also sometimes called high fire in electric kiln. And then you have low fire or earthenware. Your instructor, if you're taking a class or your kiln, if you're firing different temperatures of clay, will thank you for knowing the difference between all the different temperatures.